Hello guys, welcome to ETM Travels. Today we are diving into an incredible opportunity in the United States that you won't want to miss at all for any reason. Okay, if you have been thinking about studying abroad, now is the perfect time to start planning ahead. Guess what guys, you are in the right place, so stick around. Have you been searching for an institution that doesn't charge an application fee, you know? Or maybe an institution that provides funding, scholarship, assistantship, tuition waivers, or an institution that you don't want to spend a dime as far as application is concerned. Or an institution where the English language test is not required or the test is waived as an international student or local student. You know, this thing sounds amazing. So I can tell you that this particular video is for you if that is what you are looking for. All right, so let's jump right into it. Today we will be focusing on a wonderful prestigious university, okay? A uh, very, very lovely university, as you can see. As you can see, a very, very beautiful public institution located in the state of New Mexico. Or New Mexico, right here in the United States. This university was founded in 1893, and it holds a special place as a flagship and public research institution. We will dive into its research and highlight the wide range of funded programs you can choose from. Whether you are interested in other undergraduate admissions or looking to pursue, you know, graduate admission or degree, we got you covered. So sit back, relax, and let's explore this beautiful institution and see the incredible opportunities waiting for you in New Mexico. Get ready to take your educational journey to a new height. All right, so we are gonna talk about admission requirements. New Mexico Highlands University. Okay, you can see number two boldly there. $25 application fee is currently waived at this time which means that when you apply, you are not going to pay any money. It is free, free of charge, including graduate students and undergraduate students. So the question is, oh, um, international student, does it cover me? Yeah, you can see requirements for international students and also local students. So it covers everyone applying to this wonderful institution. So what are you waiting for? Now, the beauty of this institution is that they actually require evaluating your transcript, okay, your official transcript but you can reach out to the admission team and find out if they accept an unofficial transcript. Most institutions these days, thanks to COVID-19, you know, made it possible for applicants to submit their unofficial transcript till when they are admitted and then they send a copy of their official transcript. So reach out to the department. Feel free, if you need a template on how to send them an email, reach out to us via email and we will send you a copy of that. Okay, so $25 application fee is waived. Now let's look at the programs. Now if you're looking for programs on this particular website, just go to Academics, okay? Go to Academics, click on the menu, you see Academics. Click on it. You see a list of courses they actually do. So we are going to take forestry for the purpose of this video. Earn your degree in forestry. So if you want to learn more about this particular program, you can actually fill this form and send it to them. Okay, now one thing you should take note of is that if you are looking for funding and scholarship, most of the programs, let's say forestry, communication, computer science, business administration, they always lay emphasis on funding the program. Now, once you discover that they don't talk about anything relating to funding in that program page, it is likely they don't fund that program. It is likely there is no means of scholarship. So it means for you, I'll move on and forget about that situation, to be sincere. Well, another thing you can do is that you can always reach out to the department and ask questions. Hello, my name is Excise. I would love to know more about this particular question. Do you provide any sort of funding? It's okay. It's very, very simple. And they will get back to you. These guys are very fast. Whenever you send them a message, provide them at the right time, working hours. So you can see that this particular program, it is fully funded. How do we know? You can see applications are accepted year round. When you see the word year round or you see rolling basis, it means that you can apply any given time. Application window is always open, but whenever you see a clause that says, however, for priority admissions, now priority admissions. Now priority admissions means that applying early and assistantships. You can see assistantships. Now in the USA, there are different institutions. There are different sorts of funding. We have scholarships, we have assistantship and student employment. Now let's talk about assistantship. 
Assistantship is just a form of funding that they end up paying you a certain amount of stipend yearly, although it would be every two weeks or monthly, as the case may be. In turn, you are actually carrying out an activity. Now, we have teaching assistantships. We have research assistantships. We have administrative assistantship. Okay, most times, most institutions always provide more info on teaching and research. Teaching means that you are maybe taking a particular class or you are assisting your professor in grading students' papers. Okay, or you are taking maybe one particular program and all sorts of teaching activities, all sorts of teaching and learning activities, so to say. Then the one for research assistantship has to do with you working in the lab, carrying out research, finding out different milestones, accomplishing milestones, stuff like that. So at the end of the day, you are being paid. And also, most times you may be lucky that the whole package, the assistantship package, might come with health insurance totally waived. They may even provide accommodation and other sorts of benefits, even dining. Okay, you can have access to a meal per day. We have assistantship on that. Guys, let me know if you want me to do a particular video on funding, assistantship, scholarship. Do let me know. I will do a separate video on that so that you learn how to apply and harness this opportunity. Okay, one thing I believe is that if you don't search, if you don't research for information, you will not know. So, for instance, if you are there and you are interested in forestry, why not go and apply to this school? Okay, take note that they actually have deadlines if you're looking for a scholarship. Like this one, it is recommended applicants submit their applications by the first Friday in September for spring or the first Friday in February for fall admission. So if you study forestry, this is a big opportunity for you. You are not paying an application fee and your documents will be reviewed and you can stand a chance of getting fully funded. Okay, so take note of that. Then talking about other forms of study, you can always search. You can always search for, you know, like maybe student aid, student financial aid, and you get more information. So that is another way to navigate the website. If you're not sure what you're looking for, just search on this you know, click on the search bar and type whatever keywords you see information on that or relating to it. Okay, so we have student employment. Now, student employment means that you are actually working in the institution. And it is one of the beauties of this particular institution that I love. They provide student employment where you work and study, work, study. So you can do campus jobs while attending class. So although the maximum hours allowed is 20 hours per week during the regular semester during summer, you can do way above that. So this is another opportunity that you can take good use of. Even if you don't get the assistantship or scholarship look into this area, once you have been admitted, there is always the login access or website or handshake that you can navigate things like this. So guys, take good use of it. I will share the link after this particular video and also check the description box. You know, different links to financial aid academics page and application page. So that is it guys so don't sleep on this information if you know someone interested you may know a bit more share it share it with your friends and let them know that you can actually study in the usa for free thank you very much guys one more thing if the information you are looking for you are not getting a full understanding of the requirements of the program you're interested in going for reach out to the department and ask more questions for clarity it's not going to hurt you okay guys do it just send them a message that introduces yourself, where you came from, your country you came from, and the questions you want to ask. You can put it in a paragraph or a bullet point. Just ask the questions and they will get back to you so that you know that you are doing the right thing the way it should be. Thank you very much, guys, for watching and sharing the video. We will come again and ensure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel for more updates. If you are yet to subscribe, click on the subscribe button and notification icon for new videos and updates. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.